planned obsolescence. Designing products with limited lifespans to boost repeat purchases and sales volume. Loss leader. A pricing strategy where a product is sold below cost to boost sales of more profitable items. Vendor lock-in. Dependency on a vendor, making it challenging to switch to another without significant costs. Anchoring. When shown what a product or service costs before the promotion alongside the sale price, the initial price acts as an anchor. Clients that look at both prices will consider the new, cheaper price a better deal than they would have if only the sale price were visible. Another example of anchoring would be showing an insanely expensive variation of a product and then showing the one the marketer wants to sell, which will have a normal price. Rebranding. Changing brand elements like name, logo, or image to create a new identity and perception. Forced free trial. A forced free trial is a direct marketing technique where potential buyers are sent free samples of a product, often for periodic publications, to encourage subscription. Point of sale display. Promotional materials near checkout counters to attract customers' attention and promote products. Decoy effect. It's the phenomenon whereby consumers will tend to have a specific change in preference between two options when also presented with a third option that is asymmetrically dominated. An option is asymmetrically dominated when it is inferior in all respects to one option, but in comparison to the other option, it is inferior in some respects and superior in others. Slow music. Supermarkets usually put slow music to make you feel less rushed and happy to spend more time and money in store. Razor and Blades Business Model. The razor and blades business model involves selling one item at a low price or for free to boost sales of complementary goods, such as consumable supplies. Seeding trial. Allocating marketing to specific customers to stimulate word-of-mouth diffusion. Blind taste tests. Companies use blind taste tests, like the Pepsi Challenge, to compare brands, develop new products, and gather customer preferences. These tests help track views, assess product changes, and gauge reactions. Subliminal advertising. Using subliminal messages to boost a product's sales. Hidden advertising. It occurs when advertisements are not sufficiently marked as ads. For example, an actor who keeps using the same brand of razors to cut his beard. Stealth marketing. Subtly introducing a product to consumers without them realizing they are being marketed to. Ambush marketing. A method where brands associate themselves with an event without paying sponsorship fees, leveraging the event's visibility to gain attention. Foot in the door technique. Persuading someone to accept a significant request by first gaining their agreement to a smaller related request. Behavioral targeting. Using the consumer's data to match ads aligned with their interests. Call to action. A specific prompt designed to encourage an immediate response or sale used in ads, web pages, and more. Book signing. Book signings boost book value for collectors, with authors providing signatures and optional personalized dedications. Healthy food positioning. Putting healthy fruit and veg at the front of the supermarket so you shop there first and don't feel guilty about the less healthy foods that go into your basket later. Channel stuffing. Channel stuffing involves a company or sales force pushing more products through a distribution channel than it can sell, inflating sales figures, often for short-term gains. Chemical-free marketing. Chemical-free in marketing implies safety and environmental friendliness through natural ingredients, despite the fact that everything consists of chemicals. On-hold messaging. Delivering information and branding messages to callers waiting on hold or during transfers. Doorbuster deal. A doorbuster deal is an early, limited supply offer in retail designed to attract a large number of shoppers during the opening hours. Home staging. Preparing a home for sale by enhancing appeal to attract potential buyers aiming for quicker sales at higher prices in the real estate market. Introductory rate. An initial low interest rate on a loan, which expires, leading to a regular or higher rate. Unique selling proposition. Informing customers about a product's superiority compared to competitors by stating something that it has and that the others don't. Tie-in work. Creating fiction or products based on existing media for promotion and profit, often authorized by the original creators. Weight marketing. Delivering promotional messages to consumers during periods of waiting, such as posters and buses and video clips at fuel pumps. Not sold in stores. Goods advertised on TV or online and purchased directly from the supplier, emphasizing their novelty. Fly posting. Fly posting is a guerrilla marketing tactic where advertising posters, often using wheat paste, are placed on construction site barricades, buildings, or in alleyways. Word of mouth marketing. Influencing or encouraging word of mouth advertising actively using strategies like seeding and rewarding consumers. Four wall distribution. 
Four-wall distribution involves renting movie theaters to receive all box office revenue, a practice common in the U.S. film industry during the late 1960s and 1970s. Free lunch. A free lunch is a meal provided at no cost, often as a sales enticement to attract customers and increase overall business revenue. Military grade. A term used in marketing to make a product sound high quality by claiming it meets military standards. Essentials in the back. Placing essential items at the back of the supermarket and far away from each other so you have to look for them, this makes you come across other things that you don't need but want to buy along the way. Advertising slogans. Short phrases and ads to create attention and support a company's marketing. They highlight product features or strengthen the brand thanks to the fact that they're easy to remember. Annoyance factor. Measures add irritation to evaluate effectiveness. Intentionally annoying ads may stick in consumers' minds. Attack ad. Attack ads are political ads that target opponents, seeking to discredit them through mass media to gain voter support. Celebrity branding. Celebrity branding leverages a famous person's reputation to promote a product or cause, aiming to transfer their positive image to the brand or issue. Cereal box prize. A promotional toy or item inside or on a cereal box serves as an incentive for kids to buy a specific breakfast cereal. Consumer-generated advertising. Consumer-generated advertising is sponsored content on platforms like blogs, forums, and social media, often including links to a sponsor's website. This associates the company's brand with the brand of the person who's sponsoring. It works best when the person who's sponsoring has a high-fidelity audience. We actually have one sponsor in this video, Manta Sleep, who sent me this great sleep mask that is highly adjustable and has premium materials that feel so nice to the touch. This boosted my sleep quality by a lot, being the best one I've ever tried thanks to its adjustable C-shaped eye cups that put zero pressure on your eyes. Its materials also guarantee a high level of ventilation for unmatched breathability. You can check out the link in the description or use code THEPAINTEXPLAINER at checkout to get a 10% discount. Thanks again, Manta Sleep, for your amazing product. Co-promotion. Co-promotion is a marketing practice where multiple companies combine their sales forces to promote a product under the same brand, using a single marketing strategy. Kid height. Putting things that kids would like to buy, such as candy or toys, on the lowest shelf so that they can see them and ask their parents to buy them. Continuity marketing. Continuity marketing is an approach where goods or services are provided and continue indefinitely until the customer chooses to end the relationship. This might improve customers' retention. Cross-merchandising. Cross-merchandising is a retail practice that involves marketing or displaying products from different categories together to boost store revenue, enhance customer experience, and offer related products conveniently. Data onboarding. Data onboarding is the process of transferring offline data to the online environment for marketing purposes, connecting offline customer records with online users. Direct marketing. Direct marketing involves targeted communication to pre-selected customers, facilitating direct responses, in contrast to mass message advertising. Outdated promotions. When you arrive in front of the checkout counter with an item, you're less inclined to go back and put it back when the cashier tells you that the 50% sale you've seen has expired. Drip marketing. Drip marketing is a strategy that sends a series of pre-written messages to customers or prospects over time, often via email, based on recipient behavior or status, and typically automated. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. FUD is employed when using fear, dubious, or false information to influence perception and boost sales. Earned media. Third-party content, like articles and social media posts, that boost brand reputation without the brand paying the creator. Small floor tiles. In supermarkets, laying smaller floor tiles along the aisles that have more expensive stock, so the sound of your trolley wheels speeding up will encourage you to slow down and spend longer looking at the shelf items. Google bombing. It refers to the practice of causing a website to rank highly in web search engine results for irrelevant, unrelated, or off-topic search terms. It's done for either business, political, or comedic purposes. Mojave Experiment This is an example of rebranding, and it refers to Microsoft's 2008 campaign to improve Windows Vista's image by demonstrating it under the disguise of a new Mojave version. Merchandising Practices that enhance product sales in retail involving creative product display to attract customers. SEO. Improving a website's visibility in search engine results to attract more visitors and customers. For example, by naming the pictures on the website or using long titles. Predictive buying. Using algorithmic analytics to predict and present products to potential buyers in targeted advertising. Stunt casting. It's the practice of casting a famous actor or other celebrity in a small role in order to promote a film. 
shockvertising, using startling and offensive content to capture attention, create buzz, and raise awareness. Shout out to these guys who are the first patrons that support my channel. You can end up on this list as well. Check out the link in the description.